Hello and welcome to another window parts video. Today we'll be doing a tutorial on how to remove old window hinges and replace them with our universal hinges. But first off, apologies for the lack of a formal setting. We are having a bit of space issue here at window parts. So we are having to make do with this very nice lock storage room to film this video. Not perfect, but it will suffice. So saying that, let's get cracking. So first thing we need to do is remove the old hinges to do this. You need to take the screws out, holding them in. They should be free on the shorter side, where on what we call the sash side or the opener side, so that with the glass in, be free holding it in there, and then there'll be another free holding the actual hinge onto the frame. First off, take the free on the sash side out from both hinges. This will then remove the sash out of the way and give you the most space you can get. We do recommend you get another person to help you with this, especially when it's fitting in situ in a window because it can, they can be very heavy. We don't want you hurting yourself in any way. So once you remove that, remove the sash out of the way, undo the screws on the other side, on the frame side, and remove the hinge. The next thing you do, get your new hinge. And just to show you in this video, it does let our ones do a left and a right. These are the normal hinges. Egress and fire escape hinges, they are handed they will they're clearly marked on the hinge which is left and which is right but one a left and a right will easily do one window but anyway so on this one these are our universal ones our trade ones they do left and right handed first off get the opener the sash side the bit with the glass in take the top hole on the hinge of the shorter part of the hinge bit that would fit onto that line up the top hole on the hinge with the highest hole on the sash or the, or the opener and how you want to phrase it. Make sure that those hole, that hole lines up, because if you do, if you line up that hole, the rest of it is pretty academic once you've done that. Get that fixed in nicely, and then fit it in with the other two screws. Don't worry if there isn't a hole there on the other bits, just make a new one. In fact, probably it's better to make a new one with these other ones anyway, if you've got a nice fresh grip. But that's not a problem. So once you've fitted that in, do the same thing with the other side. Again, with this next bit, we highly recommend you get someone to help you, an extra pair of hands, because it will make your life so much easier and also safer as well. Very heavy, these bits, these windows with these bits of glass in there. So it's always better to have an extra pair of hands. On the frame, so the top hole on the hinge with the top hole on the frame, the bit you're fitting in there, that top hole line up with the highest hole on the frame. This will make sure it lines up nicely. So it's sitting properly in situ. Tighten that in and then screw it in the rest in that profile where the original hinge sat. You shouldn't need to put it anywhere else. It will go in that exact same profile as the original one. Or if there's no hole, original holes don't line up, then making new ones is perfectly fine. It's general practice, not a problem. Once you've done that, you have a brand new window with a new set of hinges. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.